What's up friends of the good mood, this is Money and welcome to the next non-gameplay early video log right here about the new coming upcoming war robots coming in within the next months I would assume it's called the Ragnarok squad okay and those are all robots from the old Scandinavian and Viking mythology and uh, they may sound familiar to you with the name Fenrir, Tyr and uh, Loki okay and this right here would be the Fenrir that you can see right now guys and I also have stats for you guys important to mention is also that we're going to be testing these new robots uh, it's three together uh, but two I can already tell you everything about or a lot of it um, and basically we're going to test them them in two days on the test server in gameplay okay so uh, there's a lot of already been done with them we can test them in two days and there will be gameplay videos for every robot that I'm showing you here or explaining there will be one video coming up this Saturday and Sunday and such so if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel ladies and gentlemen then please consider doing this also with the notification bell so you get notified when the gameplay uh, is done okay and so you can see these things in action now they all have one thing in common the Fenrir the Tyr and the Loki they will all be able to transform themselves in battle in some way with certain stances or battle modes recon mode scout mode whatever right these kind of things is what they can do and um, and that's that's pretty interesting so you have two different ways of playing them and uh, the first one that you can see right here is called Fenrir the wolf okay because in the uh, Greek, uh, no, not Greek, in the Scandinavian or in this mythology, basically, Fenrir is this wolf that fights with somebody. I've seen Viking, the TV series, but I forgot who he's fighting is. Anyways, this is Vi Fenrir the wolf that you can see right here on the screen and his stats on level 8 which we're going to be seeing on the test server gameplay in two days is 126 thousand HP okay on level 8 and it has two modes the scout mode and the attack mode okay so during the scout mode uh, the robot will have two medium weapons and it runs at 46 kph now 46 kph in order to give you guys a comparison is a little bit faster I think than the Natasha or fury the fury I think walks 44 45 something about around around this I believe and this thing here will walk 46 in its scout mode and it will have an Aegis shield also at the same time with two medium weapons and you might remember guys the Aegis shield is the shield that blocks every type of damage um, you know energy weapons explosive weapons and kinetic weapons all of those are being blocked by the Aegis shield uh, it's the shield that has that the bulwark and the blitz robot have right those these orange shields I'm talking about this is what he has it's not the shields that the Pantheon robots have the so-called absorber shield that blocks unlimited amounts of damage not those it's the one from bulwark and blitz that blocks every type of damage but only for until the shield is empty and this robot here Fenrir will have uh, a 40,000 HP shield at level 8 that blocks every damage so it's not blocking a lot of the damage but it's blocking a little bit of it and every type and that's pretty interesting during the scout mode okay uh, while walking relatively okay speed not very fast but it's okay you get from point A to point B and you have two medium weapons now that's the scout mode you will be able to activate the uh, you know ability to switch to your attack mode with the uh, Fenrir with the wolf and that will give you one additional heavy weapon okay I'm not sure where the heavy weapon will be hidden here in the model if we take a look at the model it will probably get out somewhere because all these robots right here uh, will have some kind of animation to themselves as well like to their mode switch there will be some kind of animation similar to what the dragons do when they come out with their wings and fly and there will be animations when they when these robots switch the different modes and uh, there will be one also here bringing up an additional heavy weapon for you so now you have two medium and one heavy weapon on the Fenrir but you drop your speed from 46 to 26 kph you will basically be a fortress simply a bunker sitting around shooting that's what you're gonna do but you're not going to walk very fa fast anywhere and that is the attack mode but you also get the damage resistance of 50% when you're super slow having two medium and one heavy weapon so the same firepower that a Lancelot or an Inquisitor has more firepower than Haichi or Bulgazari by the way uh, then you will be super slow but you have a damage resistance of 50% 
Um, so basically, that will make your 126,000 HP to be effective HP of 252,000 while you are in attack mode, right? And that's the interesting thing. I believe that the Fenrir will be played a little bit similar to the Falcon. The Falcon also has to be very careful when activating its ability because then it will drop its resistance and it will be killed super fast, right? And uh, the Fenrir will also don't don't want to activate the attack mode uh, or uh, the scout mode at the wrong time when he's being hit by a lot of damage output. However, the mode switch has only a one second cooldown, so you can switch from attack mode to scout, from scout to attack, from scout, from attack to scout, in one second every time. So even if you do make a mistake with the switch, it's not going to be fatal immediately, you can switch back. It just takes two seconds until you're back in the uh, other mode. And um, yeah, so two medium heavy, uh, two medium weapons and a heavy weapon in attack mode here with only 226 kph speed, but 50% damage resistance. Maybe important to mention is also, ladies and gentlemen, that the Fenrir, uh, no, that all, all the information I'm giving you right now is work in progress, okay? It's very important for me to, that you guys know everything I say here is very early information and work in progress, and it could be at all the, any given time that things change and are not this way. This is why these robots will be tested during this test server here on Saturday, where we will all test them in gameplay and give feedback, right? And, uh, and then according to the feedback, back and what Pixonic thinks, uh, these robots and stats may change and undergo some changes, right? Nothing is written in stone right here, it's all, you know, work in progress. But this is the idea that we currently have or that Pixonic currently has about these robots, okay? Alright, and um, yeah, the next robot is going to be the Loki, that's this guy. Look how awesome he looks, man. He, he looks so cool, he looks like he's got a shield or something. But he also looks a little bit like the Stalker, doesn't he? Or like the Pursuer. Doesn't he have a lot of similarities to the Pursuer? And here comes a bit of something I'm afraid of, okay? The Loki stats are 115,000 HP, 15, not 50, 115,000 HP at level 8. We have an attack mode on this robot where he has three light weapons, so the same firepower that the Pursuer has, okay, more similarities, and he runs at 60 kph. That's also similar to the speed of the Pursuer, I think. Not exactly the same, I believe, but somewhere very near. And then, it that's all it has. It has an attack mode with three light weapons and 60 kph speed. But, it has the recon mode. Like I said, these um, these Ragnarok squads will all have the ability to transform themselves in battle uh, in some kind of shapeshift or whatever. And the Loki, by the way, is the tricky shapeshifter in the mythology, okay? The Fenrir is the wolf, the Loki is this tricky uh, shapeshifter, and um, the Tyr, Tyr, uh, Tyr is the third one, the son of Odin and god of man-to-man -man combat. But more about this later. For now, the Loki... The recon mode, when you switch from attack mode with three light weapons and speed to recon mode, you get no weapons at all. You cannot fight anybody any anymore, you have nothing to shoot with, but you will run 90 kph. 90! This is insanely fast. There's no way to catch this robot because he can always run 90 kph, he always can run his recon mode. There's nothing that prevents him from running the recon mode, there's no cooldown on it. It all it takes three seconds on this robot to switch from attack to recon and from recon to attack. But uh, once you are in the mode, you can run it for as long as you want. So you can run 90 kph constantly. And here comes the big thing. It will have an unlimited amount of stealth. During recon mode, it will all base always be stealthed. So the only way to kill this robot will be to use Quantum Raider module. Or to somehow shoot it with shotguns or so when it's in front of you. But that's very unlikely in many situations. So, yeah. And this is what I'm a little bit afraid of, what I said in the beginning. And I've already... Before the, the test server has even started, I've already given the feedback to Pixonic that I see the unlimited stealth as a very critical thing. 
The reason being that um, in beacon rush game modes or beacon modes, imagine you you run out of beacon with 90 kph. Nobody's going to be as fast as you are, and uh, and then you have this unlimited stealth. Uh, you can just sit on the beacon and cap the beacon, uh, or you know sit on the beacon and nobody's going to be able to kill you unless they are willing to use power cells and uh, and have the quantum radar module inside. And I don't think that's uh, ideal. I think this is a bit of a problem and. If Pixonic makes it so that they cannot capture Beacon in uh, in recon mode, even then it's a problem because then you have then your enemy team will see this guy sitting on your beacon, and they know they have to make one guy sit there the whole time and just watch you until you finally activate your attack mode so they can kill you. Right? Uh, it's going to be killed relatively quickly with 115,000 HP. Three light weapons, however, allow this robot to kill you also very fast with its halo or gust, right? Lots of firepower then, and he can always walk close to you and then use its uh, attack mode with recon mode. And yeah, even if they can't cap a beacon, even if they make it so, it will still be so that the, you see him sitting there, you know he's going to capture the beacon the second you turn away and walk away from the beacon, so you have to deal with him, but you can't because because he's stealth. And I think unlimited stealth is a very critical thing. However, I'm open-minded. I'm going to test it on the test server with you guys together this Saturday and make the video, one video for each robot. And uh, we're gonna see and t together we're gonna make, uh, you know, a give feedback basically, I would assume, right? We're all giving the feedback together once we have seen it in action. Let's go towards it open-minded, but um, I'm, I'm a little bit afraid and I think that my feedback may be that the unlimited stealth isn't the best idea, that it should probably have a stealth um, duration and not unlimited. Uh, but yeah, so it takes three seconds to switch the mode though, right? So in this case, it's not a, a one second switch. You will take a little while to switch. And now the last robot, ladies and gentlemen, the tier. And the tier looks like this. And if we have a look at the tier, um, it looks like it has like a medium weapon here to the left. And a medium weapon maybe to the right. It could also be a heavy weapon. I don't know how big this robot is, but it looks like it would be a medium or medium. The reason I'm asking, I'm, I'm uh, you know, assuming things is because I don't have any information on the tier yet. Um, there is more information is going to come out later, and uh, there is a chance that we may already be able to play the robot on this week's test server on Saturday in two days. There's a chance we already see what the tier will be doing and the idea behind the tier. Uh, but the tier, as I I said before is the son of Odin and the god of man to man uh, hand to hand combat. Now, if that doesn't sound convincing, then I don't know what is. And uh, we already see one weapon slot to the left and one weapon slot to the right. And if I take a look at the model, then it also looks as uh, there is like this this black thing. Do we not have music? Oh, we have. Um, there is this these black things. They look like uh, arms that have weapons, similar to what the butch or the dog has, right? It could be that a weapon that maybe even two heavy weapons come out of this. Then this would eff effectively be the highest firepower ever seen in War Robots, if I'm correct with this assumption, that it would be two heavy and two medium weapons. Right? That would be the highest thing we've ever seen. And um, But let's see, I'm not sure if I'm correct. It, it just looks like there could be some additional weapons coming out of it uh, in its battle mode or whatever the mode. Maybe the mode will be called the fortress mode or it's called the, I don't know, I rip you apart mode. Whoever knows whatever mode this is. But it looks like some additional weapons could come out of this and there are already two slots on the outer sides, I think. So it's going to be very interesting to see what the tier is going to ho hold in store for us. For now we know that the Fenrir is going to be the wolf, the Loki is going to be the tricky one, and uh, with the stealth. And the tier is maybe going to be the big flagship with the highest firepower. We will see this Saturday on the test server. So get yourself ready, guys. And uh, by the way, if you want to join me today, I'm gonna have a I'm gonna have a live stream today. Also, not for War Robots, for Apex Legends on my second YouTube channel. Uh, it's called Good Mood Gaming. That's the channel name. I'm linking it to the video description and pinned comment in case you want to join me today at the same time as I usually stream, but on the second channel for some Apex Legends first-person shooter uh, gameplay. Um, but yeah, so this is it, guys. Uh, this is all I can do, uh, say for now. More about this on uh, in two days when the test server starts and I'm gonna make one video for every single robot, okay? Tell me what you think in the comments. What do you? What is your idea about the unlimited stealth? I'm, I'm a little bit scared of it, but like I said, we're gonna test it on the test server and see how it works, and then we give feedback. <laughs>
All right, so yeah for now Thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video leave a like and comment down below And if you haven't already hit subscribe as brutal as a man can it for more. Thanks for bearing with me. you guys are awesome as always Money gaming signing off Bye-bye